Hey guys, it's Sarah here. In this video, I'm going to be going over congestive heart failure. I'm going to tell you what exactly it is, the different types, symptoms, treatment, diagnosis, and what we do as nurses to care for them. So the reason I pick this topic is because, unfortunately, this is really, really, really common. So no matter what field you're in, you'll probably have many patients with congestive heart failure. So you're going to be dealing with this on a daily basis which is why the NCLEX likes to test on it and you really have to know it. And you should know it as a nurse. So let's get started. Heart failure. So think of the heart as a pump. It is a pump. When it fails, it's not gonna be able to get enough blood pumped out to the body. There are two different types. There's the left and the right. In left-sided heart failure, think of LL, lungs left. The lungs bring the blood to the left side of the heart. So if the left side of the heart, which is the pump, like I said, is not working so well, it's failing. It doesn't mean it failed. It's just failing. It's not working so well. It's going to back up. It's like a traffic jam. Think of one-way road. A car decides to slow down. It's going 20 miles per hour instead of on a highway 80. So guess what's gonna happen? Everyone's gonna back up behind it. So this is exactly what's happening with heart failure. That's gonna be your signs and symptoms. Your signs and symptoms are gonna be all lung signs and symptoms. Congestion, pulmonary edema, everything has to do with your lungs. Oxygen is gonna be decreased, hypoxic, short of breath, all respiratory symptoms. And the same thing on the right. So the body brings the blood to the right side and then it gets pumped out to the lungs. When the right side is going slower, like I said, the pump's not working so well, just like the traffic, the guy's going 20 miles at an 80 zone, it's going to back up. And it's going to back up to where it's coming from. It's going to back up to the body. So you're going to see all signs of blood being back up to the body, like edema. Edema is going to be in the legs, the feet, and the abdomen. For your abdomen, you'll have ascites. For your feet, you'll have swollen feet, pitting edema, all signs of back up to the body. Jugular vein distension. So now we're going to talk about the risk factor. So what's making this pump not work effectively? Think of like a kink in a hose. So the same thing, you'll have narrowing of the arteries, be it atherosclerosis, hypertension, or the valves are not working. How is it diagnosed? So it's diagnosed for a lot, of, a lot of different ways. You have the EKG could show an abnormal rhythm that could signify that the walls of the heart are thick. You also have echocardiogram, which has the sound waves. So you could like hear if it's good blood flow or bad blood flow. You have an MRI, which could show a picture of your heart. The stress test, which could show how well your heart is working. You have the blood test, BNP specifically, rises in heart failure. So what treatment do we have for congestive heart failure? You start tr to treat it off with medication. ACE inhibitors, what an ACE inhibitor does is that it opens the narrowed passageway or the narrowed artery. You could have beta blockers, which could lower the blood pressure. Diuretics, like I said, could help excrete the fluid. And if medication doesn't work, then we go to surgery. Like always, the least invasive to the most invasive. And this would be like angioplasty to open up the black arteries or heart valve replacement if that was a problem. Interventions as a nurse. So you as a nurse are going to focus mainly on the symptoms. Number one, EKG on your patient. Number two, sodium restriction. Water follows salt. So you don't want them keeping in more water. So you don't want them having more salt because if they have more salt, they're just going to keep in more water. So you want to restrict their sodium. You also want to them to have diuretics to help get rid of the fluid that's being retained. With diuretics, besides for potassium sparing diuretics, you want to watch out for electrolyte depletion. Because think about it, if you're going to let everything out, it's going to be electrolytes go with it and everything else. So you want to watch out for hypokalemia, etc. You also want to do strict INOs and daily weights. You don't want them to gain too much because that means that they're retaining. So you want them to have daily weight so you could see are they retaining water. And you're going to assess the respiratory function. If they need oxygen, apply oxygen. 
If they're short of breath, don't lie them flat. So that's it for congestive heart failure. I hope that helped you. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.